Uh, it, it's like the old Ed Sullivan show live, up front and personal, right in your face. But Ed was never like this. Today, it's the show itself that's reviving the sideshow, and the more outrageous, the better. The bar for all the sideshow performance has, has been raised to a level that I think 20, 30, 40 years ago would have been considered unbelievable. James Taylor ought to know, he publishes Shock and Amazed Magazine, an illustrated journal of sideshows, past and present. The majority of the acts in any sideshow were the working acts. All the sword swallowers and fire breathers and magicians, it's much more difficult in these politically correct times to go out there with, oh, here's a fat lady, let's look at the fat lady. <laughs> The audience has changed, too. The audience for the shows today is much younger than it used to be in past. They've grown up on a steady diet of shock rock acts, every bit as freaky as any sideshow. And now TV's gotten into the act, too. So when it comes to sideshow, they have to keep increasing the volume. Don't let me down. One, two, three! No one understands that better than Jim Rose, the new freak show's best-known ringmaster, whose sold-out shows made the cover of the Wall Street Journal. Freak shows have to evolve, because what are they? I mean, they're what your population isn't used to. You know, an elephant in India, you can't give a ticket away. But if you took an elephant uh, to the United States around 1898, you could sell a house out with an elephant. Elephants are about the only thing missing from a Jim Rose Circus Sideshow, which has featured everything from a guy who pumps beer out of his stomach to a human pincushion billed as the Torture King. He's got a sense of humor, too. I tour the world, so I'm constantly having to come up with ideas that the world hasn't seen. When years passed, you could have gone to a sideshow and you could have seen a performer like Rasmus Nielsen. He'd lift an anvil with chains through his nipples. Yes, it hurts. Yes, it's real. My mom still loves me. It's like, okay, here's all your questions answered. Anything else? I started this in 91, and everybody looked at me like I killed the Lindbergh kid. I couldn't find a place to play. <laughs> Touring with top rock acts like Nine Inch Nails got him national exposure. And I show up on a stage and there's all these younger people. So I did the show a little quicker and I used the F word a little more frequently. And bow to the Turkey King! And there was a connection because it was a lost generation, people that hadn't seen this because it had disappeared for 20 years. <laughs> Yeah, so you see, this is the kind of thing that I think is very appropriate for families of all kinds. There's also a more serious answer. As we grow up, we become trained, and we know it. We're trained to read things certain ways. We, when we watch movies, we know it's edited. When we watch TV, we know we're seeing special effects. So it's nice to see something that's absolutely real. There's no trickery whatsoever. The nail really does go in the nose. I really do eat glass. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. <laughs> and if you're under 30, some of this stuff just isn't that shocking anymore. There are millions of kids today that are come tattooed and, and, and peers. And just 10 years ago, they would be a phen phenomena in a freak show. I don't think that 10 or 15 years ago, anyone could have predicted uh, the likes of Jim Rose's troupe. I don't think anyone could have predicted uh, the likes of the modern primitive movement. It's the latest thing, that, and it goes back hundreds of years. Uh, many of the things were uh, rituals uh, in the uh, Native Americans used the piercing of the pectoral muscles and, and suspension as uh, kind of a coming of age. Now, this painful practice of suspending the body from hooks is the newest and most extreme form of sideshow. What we got here tonight is Jim Rose times 10. And that's the way the audience sees it, too. It was a rush just watching them. I could have seen all the pictures of it. It was cool to be like right there. I'm going to go home and watch signs all this stuff and come back to reality. Just, I feel bad for those people. It's crazy. They don't think so. When I do public suspensions like this, it's, it's about showing people that what they, where they can go and what they can do. Believe it or not, we're not masochists. 
we just enjoy what we do. Most sideshow performers enjoy what they do, but they describe it differently. It's pretty much just like any other 9 to 5 job, except we travel a lot and it's, it's a little more mental and physical intensive. It's a pathetic plea for attention, but damn it, it gets it. I've gone all over the world with tattooed people and rubber men and that type of thing. I've been thrown in jail. People have heard all kinds of weird things. I think what they probably don't realize is on my off time, I just spend taking long walks with my wife and playing pinball. Paul Lawrence, AKA the Enigma, also enjoys going out with his wife, only she's tattooed like a cat and he's got Teflon horns implanted in his head. So they draw a bit more attention. I found there's two reactions. One is right up in your face reaction. And then there's one where it's just, you know, whispers. People look at, look at me and they go, well, you know, well, you're so different, you know. But if you look at everybody's face, you'll notice that everybody's face is so different. I don't see myself as a freak. Now, um, I've been doing this for 10 years. I'm more of a, like a circus professional. And just what is freaky anymore? In the past, when there was a line that was drawn in the sideshows, it was usually a very roughly defined standard of sort of popular decency. Every generation kind of redefines where that line is. This current generation certainly has pushed that, pushed the envelope a, a great deal. Maybe live suicide on stage or something, I don't know. One-time deal, you know, and you're famous for the rest of your life, but... The only limit is our imagination. My line's been the same line it's always been. No live mutilation or blood, and never to take us ourselves seriously. Hey, look, I can get cable. And if that wasn't enough sideshow for you, hang in there. The show is on the road, and Jim Rose promises he'll soon be in a town near you. Ooh. When we come back, the heartbreaking story 